Hey fellow Vault Dwellers, it's Angry Turtle and in today's video I'm reporting about the huge changes coming to all automatic melee weapons on September 13th when the Expedition update will drop. The beloved chainsaw for so many of you will be now actual usable end game weapon. Then that is a good news, but let's go step by step. What is changing with the next patch? First, if you are not aware, currently the chainsaw is capped at level 20. You cannot find it at higher level. But from the next patch, all those weapons are being upgraded and will spawn up to level 50, which is a correct cap. As you can see, this chainsaw is indeed level 50. In the future, I do plan to do a full guide for a chainsaw, but in this video I will be talking about automatic melee weapons, which include the new auto axe that it's coming, the chainsaw itself, the drill or the buzz blade, all of those weapons, all those weapons will be able to spawn level 50. This one is actually 30, but I have uh, another one somewhere that is there, that is level 50. And you can see a legendary, yes, that's a huge change coming to those weapons. They can be crafted legendary. They no longer capped at low level and ability to craft them as a legendary have been unlocked. Therefore, the chainsaw can be now a three star level 50 chainsaw. And as we are on legendary effects, there are huge changes in this category too. As you know, so far there was not too many legendary effects of any use case in case of those automatic melee weapons. That is changing. Like at this moment, I rolled 40% more power attack damage. And you would think, what would, why would I like that if you are not power attacking with automatic melee weapons? It changes. Now, from the next patch, all automatic melee weapon attacks will count as power attack, therefore this will be a direct damage boost to the weapon. It's direct 40% damage boost to your weapon. And that's not everything. That's not everything. There are other changes that comes with it and I will be showing you soon on the enemies, but let me tell you first what I'm talking about. Martial artist, this per card increase swing speed of the weapon. So far, in case of automatic melee weapon, all this card was doing, you were able to extend the automatic weapon faster, but it was not affecting anything else. Now, it does affect, it does affect how fast automatic melee weapon is spinning. Therefore, it's a boost, it's a direct boost to attack speed. That's a 30% boost to attack speed. If you roll 40% faster swing speed on automatic melee weapon, it will increase how fast the weapon is hitting. Therefore, you can have all of those effects apply to your automatic melee weapons. They can work faster, which is, which is an amazing boost. That's another power attack. I'm looking for something else for testing. Let's reroll that. If I still have modules on my PTS, can I have faster swing speed on this one, please? There it is. That's a faster swing speed. Faster swing speed and simultaneously less action point cost. The action point cost in VATS have been modified as well for most automatic melee weapons, so they drain less now. And so far, all of those are the good news. Of course, it cannot be good news only. The bad news are that even if you are using those automatic melee weapons with your power armor, unfortunately, they will drain your action points. All automatic melee weapons will drain your action points, even the drill. When I'm drilling, my action points are slowly going down. Very slowly, because on this power armor, I have the modification on my arms, 
that are optimized braces that reduce the cost of power attacking and, as I said before, attacking with automatic melee weapons count as power attack. Therefore, you can reduce this cost, which is good, and it does not drain your core, just your action points. It is still a big downside, but you can work with that. Like, we can work with that. There are ways to deal with this issue that action points are being slowly drained. So it's not end of the world, but of course, there are so many buffs, there need to be something on the other side of the spectrum. But now let's take those weapons to the West Tech and I will show you how those work. And just before I start, to be absolutely clear, it is not a melee weapon build. I will be working on builds for new auto axe and other weapons, of course, they are coming. But at this moment, all I have here for damage is incisor and martial artist. I'm not spec into any slugger perks, into any other stuff like that. I'm not a carnivore, so no buffs from food and so on. So yeah, you can have much higher damage than you will see on this video, but this will give you a good sample how those weapon works. And I intentionally want those super mutant to survive, survive couple seconds so you can see how those weapons are performing. First, we are going for this Mutant Slayer's Chainsaw, and thanks to the fact that it's level 50, the damage is going up too. And this one is unmodified. Of course, you can modify the Chainsaw to have some flaming blades and so on. I will cover those when I will have a moment to make a Chainsaw Guide. But for this moment, I'm using the plain version just to show you how those weapons are working with the next patch. And I will be using third person as currently first person view is slightly bugged. It shouldn't be on the live version, then it will be different. And now you can see I'm grinding those level 100 super mutant without being fully spec into the damage to them. I'm doing decent, like I'm doing decent work with unmodified chainsaw. Then you can see how it will be when you fully spec into melee weapons and you will modify your stuff to do even more damage. And this one, it's the faster swing speed. You can see that it's hitting really fast. We'll be using the more damage one, but regular swing speed now. Then you have a comparison. You can clearly see I'm hitting slower, but the damage number will be higher now. Overall, if I would be to compare faster swing speed versus power attack damage, faster swing speed is better. It is superior to attack faster than to attack slightly stronger with those weapons. You can probably already tell that. It takes me longer to kill, but both effects are valid. They are both helpful. And now, of course, VATs. I can engage in VATs if I'm close enough and I can attack. The VATs is not the best way to go, but you can see that my, my AP is draining slowly. Like I almost kill him in VATs. And now you are probably asking about legendary perks, so I will do that and I will kick that out. And yes, you guessed that. I will try hack and slash. Max it out. Let's see. Can we get explosions? Yes! <laughs> you see that? That's some craziness. You can get explosions. You can you can get crits, but you need to manually follow. You need to manually follow. Otherwise, if you move too far, it will stop doing damage. Then I hope there will be some improvements coming in the future. So far, you need to be really close and you need to manually follow in order to keep doing damage as if you go too far away you drop and it stops doing damage which is not perfect which is definitely not perfect but it is better than it is currently like you are getting it's working it's just hard to use sometimes but yet yeah, there are explosions every time you hit kaboom yeah, this is cool. Like, this stuff is really cool. And with the buff to damage, you can see how this will be useful now. Can I hit you? Like, they moving so much. If the VAT's wrench would be a little bit extended, it would be so much easier to use. 
But generally, I'm already really happy with all those all those changes, all those buffs making the automatic melee weapons usable now. Drills, chainsaws, and new auto axe, where the new auto axe will be, of course, the most powerful. And I will make a video soon telling you everything about this new beautiful auto axe weapon. That's a plain version, but already you will be able to see even plain version, non-legendary. It is pushing some nice damage. It is pushing some nice damage. So more information is coming. That is the most important info now for you. Swing speed affects automatic melee weapons. More power attack damage affects automatic melee weapons. They all buffed to be level 50 maximum level. Like drill and chainsaw, still not craftable, but they spawn in the world at level 50. And overall, the damage improved, especially because you can now craft them as a legendary. Therefore, those are available as legendary, which is a great improvement to the damage output. All together, make those weapons so fun. And the only drawback is they do drain your action points. The good thing is they do drain way less action points in VATs than they used to. And those are all the important changes coming to automatic melee weapons on September 13th. I cannot wait. Let me know what you think about those changes. This is everything for this video. Thank you a lot for watching and see you all in the next one.